Hey, I'm Jay Wolf, Print That Thing, where we inspire you to learn 3D print design. You're about to download our PTT starter file to hack the setup process so you can start designing things for 3D printing. With this file, you'll automatically go from the Blender native meters to millimeters, set up the build volume for your 3D printer, and have access to our powerful product studio to render out prototypes for your clients and social media. To get the full experience of how to use this tool, remember you can take our Blender 100 course completely free with your seven day free trial as an all access member. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's use the PTT starter file to set up Blender for your 3D printer and be sure to watch to the end because the last step is very important. So let's go ahead and dive in. When you first open up Blender, it's gonna look just like this. It's gonna have a cube and notice if I hit in on the keyboard, it's gonna pop out my information panel and this cube is two meters. So Blender is default in meters, which is huge. That's 2000 millimeters, it's ginormous. So what we're gonna do is switch Blender so it's 3D print friendly and everything's in millimeters and some other cool nifty tricks. So make sure you've downloaded the PTT starter project and go into Blender, go to file, open, and then just navigate to where you saved it. Mine's here on the desktop and open it up and you're done. That's pretty much it. Just kidding. But notice that the monkey here is in millimeters. We've got the double M's. Also, if you use any modifiers, they're also going to be in millimeters. So you can just type in the exact measurements from your calipers. Pretty cool. And I'm just going to switch into EV mode just to kind of show off our real time render engine and hit period on the numpad and zoom into the monkey here. And notice these tiny little squares here on the grid background that is in millimeters too. each one of these tiny little cubes or squares is a millimeter so each big square is 10 millimeters so that's easy for your eyes to quickly see how big your design is and not only that if we zoom out a little bit you can see there's this big box around our Suzanne monkey here, and that is your 3D printer volume. So go to your far right over here on your layers and twiddle down where it says 3D printer, and you can just change this to be your 3D printer dimensions. So mine is a CR10, so in the dimensions down here, it's 300 by 300 by 400, but say if you have a smaller printer, you could just type in you know 100, and then I just hit tab, and then do 100, or you can just click down here and do 100, and notice that it auto updates this little this little build volume so you can see how big your design really is compared to your 3D printer. And then we can rename it, you know, small volume, or, you know, you can have as many of those as you want. And then we've also got the studio. So if we twiddle that down, we've got some lights here for you that you can turn on and off. You can turn, you know, individual lights off just by clicking these eyeballs. Uh, we also have the camera, so you can take photos of your designs or 3D videos. And we also have the flexible design collection, which is where you're going to design all of your, your models. And now here's the very, very important part that you want to make sure you do not forget to do is go to file and then go all the way down almost and do defaults. And you're going to click save startup file twice. So click it once and then it's going to ask you, okay, are you sure? And then just say save startup file again. And now Every time you open Blender, it's going to open up exactly like this, exactly how you have everything set up for 3D printing in millimeters so you can get to designing and rocking every time. Alrighty, that should get you started. You can get more cool tips and tricks when you become a PTT All Access member. When you start your seven day free trial, you can learn about the Blender for 3D printing design workflow, how to utilize the 3D printing toolbox, the Bool tool, and the product studio to its fullest capacity. Members will also start making toys, home decor, and wearables by learning the basics in design theory, box modeling, sculpting, and product design. We're super excited you've joined the PTT design community, and we look forward to seeing what you create.